And away they go from the 1400 meter marker. Evening Elegance is right there. Roya Second is tucked away, trying to get tucked away. He's about five lengths off the lead. When he's up, Captain's Mole. Roy's Pony's also on the move to be among the leading division. Along the inside, Recall Dawn with a good place. Earhart is on the outside of runners. That's racing about five or six lengths off them. Then Tiki Turn. Each carrier is on the inside. They're followed by Lost Without You. Then comes Baby in Black, and on the outside of that, Roy is second. That is actually third to last, but is only about six lengths off the leader, and Kalua Beach is the trailer. When his arm bleeds it by a length, in second, Roy's Pony. Earhart has the white cap, Captain's Mole is near the rail. Then Evening Elegance, Tiki Tin is on the outside of runners, then Edge Carrier. Down the inside, Recall Dawn, Roy a second's got seven or eight lengths to make up at the top of the lane. Lost without you, Baby in Black goes in. At the 400, when he's up, Captain's Mole now puts in a claim. Recall Dawn, Evening Elegance, Roy a second on the outside, then Earhart. Getting to the 200, Captain's Mole, Roy a second starts to warm up. Down the inside baby in black Roy a second and captain's mole over the last hundred Roy a second's coming on the best though and Roy a second won it captain's mole second baby in black third when he's our brown fourth Number four, Roy at second, the horse chestnut, Alison Wright, Roy Moodley also bred, and St. Marcus, the winning rider. They were talking about white draws, but there was three scratching, so the horse comes into stall gate number eight and threw a head up at the start, but you'll notice Anton Settler made up that seven or eight lengths and they win by a length and a half. Captain's Mile runs into second. Number four is the toad favourite, two rand and one thirty second, number eight, Captain's Mole. Baby in black, third, Winnie's up fourth, then lost without you, evening elegance, recall dawn, Roy's pony, itch carrier, ticky turn, ear heart. Kalua Beach. We'll take a look at the head on shortly. Six time at the track, Roy is second, is three off the right hand side, green sleeves and the orange cap, comes to get Captain's Mole, and then rushes away to win by a length and a half or so. So the first two favourites oblige, first two for Anton Marcus, third race starts off our place accumulator, back to the studio. Just seen Anton Marcus bag the first two favourites on the card. Royer's second, the daughter of Horse Chestnut, bred and owned by Mr. Roy Moodley, coming through under Anton Marcus. Allison's going to join us in the winning box here. Just having a word with Anton there, they had to go to plan B and C from the draw. Yeah, Sheldon, Kevin said, you know, if, if you need to be positive, then go up there and try and get a lead. You know, I'm actually so pleased that she landed up where she was because she has been a difficult filly and, um, you know, it took us a while to get her to settle on the tracks. You know, she was very mouthy and that. So I think this has taught her a lot about racing too. So I was just, um, happy that it's worked out. Encouraging for her future because she's going to come on leaps and bounds with this run under the girth. Yeah, for sure. She's, you know, she's always shown us that she was a nice filly. Um, you know, the only bad run is when she went to the front over this distance um, and, and just did too much, you know. So I'm very pleased and happy that um, we've been able to give it a winner for Roy on this day. And uh, I must say a big thank you to him and Mumsy for the support. And well done to the whole team at home. You know, they work hard and it hasn't been easy at, um, at the, you know, the last uh, three weeks. I think we've had two days of sunshine. It's, it's been really miserable. And although we've got the poly, um, you know, you can't work the horses on there every day. So every day it's about thinking what's going to, you know, how you're going to work them. It's actually quite exhausting. But I'm happy that she's come out and, uh, yeah, very, very pleased. Well done. Thanks. And just uh, thanks to our sponsors, Hollywood. Let's get Roy Moodley and the team in. He obviously, big accolades to Roy Moodley. Now let's firstly touch on today, a big day with you, the golf day. Oh, absolutely. Very big day. We had a full field, two courses booked. We had some ministers and some very, very uh, big guys playing and good golfers also. And it was a fantastic day. I thought it was going to be raining, but early morning it was raining when we left home. But after that, we never saw the rain. 
Well done. Roya's seconds just become Roya's first. So well done in the winner's box. Yeah, well, I thought this uh, horse was never going to win. I thought it's going to only come second, second, second. So I thought, Al, he does break the record today. You know, it won. Actually, it's uh, Roya's first. But we got one Roya's first that he's only running second. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we'll have to swap the name around, you yeah? know? Well done. Enjoy the moment. Uh, thanks uh, very much and thanks to Gold Circle. Thanks for having me here today for our uh, Sanko Golf Day and uh, Sanko Race Day with the Community Chest and the Blind Society. I hope uh, all goes well and we can raise some funds for today. You enjoy that victory? Well done. Yes, I did enjoy it. And uh, thanks to Hallison for her hard work to give us this win and also the jockey. I Super. think everything went well. Well done to the Roy Moodley outfit. Number four, Roy is second, has come through. Stand by for a presentation.